Hello and welcome to this Minecraft tutorial with me, Groover. Now today I'm actually going to show you how I use Cheat Engine on my um, farms and things to speed up the game so that I can do my tests extra quick. So, as you can see, you can see my cursor. This is a slightly different setup to usual. I'm actually doing um, display capture, which I don't normally do. Normally I do like window capture. So anyway, on this one you should be able to see everything that's going on. So I'm just going to get a world loaded up, we're actually in the beta now, or beta as I'm told it should be said, um, to show you the Shulker farm, and this is kind of the one which I've most recently shown myself using Cheat Engine on, and it's going to take a little while to load up. Anyway, here it is, this is the Shulker farm. You can hear the Shulkers down there, I'm in survival, that's great. What I probably should do is resize it. So. What I showed on the video was, basically, I would go in there, I would turn on Cheat Engine, everything would get a lot faster, things would happen, okay? So, this process can take a long time if you're doing a full hour's test. So the kind of thing which I've got here is, I've got set up a one hour tester. So I've got 12 items up there, and that makes sure that I'm in survival mode, as you can see. Some things obviously fired when it shouldn't have, but who cares? This is just showing how it works, and it does this thing where it will switch me into survival mode from that one and switch me into creative mode from that one based on whether there is an item item there floating on top of the wooden pressure plate, okay? So I use that in conjunction with Cheat Engine to make sure that I can give a one hour test which is absolutely accurate. I say one hour, it's probably a tiny bit over one hour, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, if you want to do this, the first thing you're going to have to do is head over to cheatengine.org. I think it's .org. There's going to be a link down in the description, so go check that out for the correct link to the website. And you're going to have to wade through some adverts and find the download for that particular program. And make sure that you tell it not to install of the other junk, all of the other rubbish that it's going to try and tell you to install some of the uh, antivirus, I don't know. You just got to be careful of that on this one. But anyway, the point is, it's perfectly safe as a program. Just be careful of the things it tries to get to install alongside it. Like, make sure that you say, don't install any of it. Anyway, so now, you should now have Cheat Engine. What you want to do is get it fired on up. So, this is what my Cheat Engine looks like, now that I've got it fired up. So, basically, what we're going to be using is this speed hack right here. And there is... A multitude of other things that you can do with um, Cheat Engine um, on your single player world. It won't really work on a multiplayer world. But anyway, there's a multitude of things that you can do with this whole thing. But I'm just going to show you one. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go up to select a process to open. Make sure that you're on processes and not applications. Okay, a lot of people go to the application, it doesn't really work like that. If you go to the process and then find your Minecraft window.exe there and then you do open okay that is it accessed to minecraft now you're pretty much there all you need to do is click on the enable speed hack and then you pop it up to whatever speed you like and click on apply you see that my fps dropped and tanked you see that everything's moving a bit faster including me oh stuff's gone wild um the farm's taking off Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. It's uh, it's noisy. Ah! Oh, flip. Heck. <laughs> so, yeah. Everything happens much faster when you've got the game speeded up. Including the dying. You die a lot faster as well. True fact. So anyway, I've turned it back down. Just make sure that you're careful with this. Normally what I do is I will throw it up to... I'll like set up this little thing here to make sure that I'm actually taking down the time and switching between creative and survival to actually give an accurate representation. Like when I turn back into creative, things just stop happening. Mobs stop attacking you. Or you can have it do turn off um, mob spawning or whatever. There's lots of different things that you can do. Anyway hope that you enjoyed that one. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Goodbye.